Hi, this is Annalita. I'm just going to play around and um, I enjoy the texture stuff very much. I'm going to try and make myself some, uh, some feathers here. Um, I actually think I need to... I want to use one of these tools to make the stripes in the feathers. So uh, I actually just want to use this bag that I filled with my texture paste just to make the center so I am um, I think I must just put flat paste around this and then take this and make the I don't know what you call those things so I'm just gonna take my palette knife and use this as a guideline Oh, sorry, there's something hard inside there. Let me just pick it up. I'm just going to make it roughly. I'm not going to worry too much. Just want to make the ones at the back first. And then I want to make the other ones in front. So I think I'm going to do these ones quickly first. actually like the palette knife uh, mark so I'm, I will see maybe I will see what I'm going to do if you follow me you will by now now I change my mind quite a lot sometimes during the process okay let's see what this thing is going to do That's a difficult one because I actually like both. I just want to quickly work this because the palette knife, um, the texture paste is already getting dry and uh, So I need to go quickly.
okay now I'm just going to let it dry and then I'll come back and I'll paint on top of this okay this is dry now so what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my inks I'm going to use burnt umber burnt sienna maybe this um, flesh tint or white antelope brown raw sienna I'm not sure which ones I'm going to use and maybe a little bit of my uh, alcohol ink uh, um, 92% alcohol so I'm going to go from dark to light uh, as I'm going to paint the feathers like eagle feathers it's going to be blackish on top and white in the, on the, um, at the bottom so I want lighter there and darker here but I'm going to go through over everything so you can just um, sit back and relax I'm going to wet my whole canvas first and then I'm going to drop the ink and then I'll just play I'm just spraying a little bit of water to make it flow easier. Uh, this is a piece of uh, super wood. It works better on canvas. But um, I'm just making sure it goes in all the nooks and crannies. That was a little bit too much.
Okay, so let's hope it dry nice. See you when it's dry. Okay, I'm going to make some of them white and some of them with black tips. So you can just sit back and, and watch me. I'm not going to, I'm going to use my brush flat. I want to pick up those um, pieces that's turning out and leave the darker edge, the, the deeper lines in between for shadows. So uh, that's all I'm going to do. I'm using some of these bald eagle tail feathers and golden eagle tail feathers as a, a guide. I'm not going to worry too much. I'm just going to paint these in and some of them you can see is immature and some are adult um, feathers. I actually like the immature ones more than the adult ones but I will see when I, when I, um, what I'm going to do. But I think I'm going to make some of them dark and some of them light.
okay this I'm finished I hope you enjoyed it you can see it gives you a lot of great texture and it makes it sometimes very easier to to get the results than you would have if you just used your paintbrush and your canvas so uh, if you like texture then I would recommend that you start if you start painting start with this and work your way up but I will see you next time and have a lovely day. Bye.